Well, but first, there is no denying the popularity of orchids. It's estimated that an astonishing 15 million of them are sold every year in this country. James Wong has been to report on this horticultural success story. I grew up in Singapore, a tiny tropical island 60 miles north of the equator. And there, orchids are everywhere. I mean, particularly the epiphytic orchids, the orchids that grow on trees, stuck to their bark and festooned along their branches. The one orchid that I was desperate to grow but couldn't was the Phalaenopsis. The problem with my garden is it was just too hot for the orchids. At sea level, smack down on the equator, it's roasting temperatures, packed full of humidity, really, really high light levels. And most Phalaenopsis actually come from regions a little bit further north or south of the equator, or if they're on the equator, at high altitude. These are places with cooler temperatures. It never gets particularly cold, but it doesn't get hot either, like a let's say a permanent English summer. These guys thrive in living rooms across the UK because they're adapted to living room light levels and temperature. And for that reason, Phalaenopsis, the moth orchid, makes up 75% of orchid sales in the UK. It's an industry that's now worth millions of pounds. The variety that plant breeders have created is staggering. The advent of micro-propagation now means that orchids can be mass-produced in a lab, and that's caused their prices to tumble. It's this form of technological cloning, where you can make millions of copies of a plant very cheaply and easily. And that means that anyone can now afford some of the most beautiful orchids on the planet. their flowers are bilaterally symmetrical. That means their left side is a mirror image of their right. Just like a human face, they almost appear to be looking at you. Moth orchids can now be found in superstores up and down the country, just one of thousands of species. We visited Vachelereau and Le Couffle Nursery just outside Paris to look at their love affair with these sublime plants. <laughs> 